Today's story is Supermarket Zoo, one of our favourites at Acorn Wood. The minute I wake up, I know something is different, but I can't quite figure out what. It's probably nothing. So I pick up my ball and I'm just going out to play when Albie! It's Mum. She has her car keys in one hand and a pile of bags in the other. This can only mean one thing. Shopping. Disaster. I hate shopping. My mum has me trapped in and there's nothing I can do. At the supermarket, the first thing I notice is our trolley. It's enormous. I can't even reach the handle. And there's a really funny smell. Mum doesn't seem to notice, but she just hands me the shopping list and sets off. It says six monkeys, two giraffes, fresh lizards, three kilos of tortoises, 27 parrots, give or take, pride of lions, two bales of hay, five tins of lion food, vegetables, fruit and nuts, and Thai, you can't quite read that. Right, says Mum, reptiles first. Chameleons or iguanas? We'll need two. This is mad, but Mum seems to think it's completely normal. I pick out two green and orange chameleons and place them in the trolley. Mum says, gently now, don't bruise them. We hurry past the rattlesnakes and cobras to the tortoises and I spot a sign saying, free salad with every tortoise. So we take three. Next, we pass the cool cabinets. I say, oh, can we get a penguin? Mum sighs. <gasps> okay, but get one from the back because it'll be fresher. And then this polar bear smiles at me. Please, I say, but Mum is cross. No, not today. At the giraffes, we pick a mother and baby special. And then we head off to find some parrots. I've never heard such screeching and squawking. Oh, I like the toucans best, but Mum says it's parrots or nothing. People say it's good luck if a bird poops on your head. But I don't think Mummy agrees. Next on the list are the monkeys. Now everyone knows monkeys are tricky. But have you ever tried getting six of them to sit in a trolley full of pecking parrots? It's impossible. In the end, I have to open a packet of nuts to keep them all quiet. Then we get to the lions. Now, I love watching the big cats on television, but to look straight into the wide eyes of a hungry lion well, that's something else. Mum chooses one of the meanest looking beasts I've ever seen. Um, I think I'll go and find the lion food, I say. Not that I'm scared or anything. We pile in bags of carrots, monkey nuts, bananas, seeds and mangoes. And by the time we get to the checkout, the trolley is so heavy, I can hardly push it. Mum heaves out our shopping onto the conveyor belt while I start to pack. It's a big job. We're nearly done when Mum rushes off shouting, Keep going, I won't be a minute. She always forgets something. But I wasn't expecting this. Outside, we open the car. It looks so small. It's lucky that mums are so good at packing or we'd never have got everything in. Well, I told you this morning that I thought something was different and it turns out that I was right. This has been the best shopping trip ever. Just look at all my new friends and I wonder what we'll buy next week. Things to buy from the monster market. 
two spotted furzel wuzzlers, three bouncing bungle twizzlers, three kilos of bug-eyed flomstrops, warp gargles, blimps, nozzles or bog tromplers. Interesting.